the finishing process of our beer. Uh, so once it's been crashed, uh, we will uh, drop any extra yeast off. Uh, we will harvest it for later uses if the, if the situation allows. Um, and then once it has crashed, we usually crash for 48 hours, and then we'll transfer it to a bright tank. So this bright tank is where the beer is going to get carbonated, but it also acts as another process to separate the clear beer from the yeast. Uh, once we've separated that clear beer from the yeast, we add a silica gel, which coagulates any residual yeasts that are in solution, and they actually attract each other. And then once it gets heavy enough in clumps, it falls out over a 48 to 72 hour uh, conditioning process. Once that process is complete, we will, um, here at our facility, we pump uh, CO2 into the bright tank through a carbonating stone, which has about half micron size holes uh, to allow the CO2 to dissolve into solution. And at this whole time it's cold uh, because cold liquid takes on CO2 much better than warm liquid. Uh, and then once the carbonation is complete, which can take as little as two hours if, if the carbonation stone and the tank pressure are working right, uh, once it's carbonated, we either move to the keg, or to the can, and so occasionally the bottle.